Be sure to subscribe to our channel. We publish new videos every day. Don't forget, grab your smartphone and download the Lava Matra app and stay in touch. Guru Maharaj's message is your advantage. My question was, uh, at, what, what point, at what point we as followers of Shri Prabhupada should start? At what point we as the followers of Srila Prabhupada should start? Reading the writings of the previous Acharyas and what should be our mood? How about the one about his Brahminical disciples? Srila Prabhupada wanted his Brahminical disciples to be more knowledgeable. Now what he said, I think that's something that's very simple. Therefore, he said that to get Brahmin initiation, one should get Bhakti Sastri. I am a disciple of Sanyasis, Sudhava, Bhakti Vaibhava. He said that Sanyasis should have Bhakti Vaibhava. Previously, he wrote a letter to uh, Hansadutta and his wife. Previously, he wrote a letter to Hansadutta and his wife. And all my men and women passed the Bhakti uh, Vedanta degree. And all my men and women should pass the Bhakti Vedanta degree. That time, Bhakti Vedanta and go to the teachings of Lord Chaitanya. At that time, Bhakti Vedanta, according to the teaching of Lord Chaitanya. And uh, then they could accept disciples. And that they could accept disciples. Accept disciples. Also, of course, in India, there are still debating. Of course, in India, they are still debating whether ladies can be gurus. Whether ladies can be gurus. According to Sri According to Srila Prabhupada, he said that if they are knowledgeable, said that if they are knowledgeable, they could be true. They could be true. So anyway, I would like to have all my disciples. Anyway, I would like to have all my disciples. I get the Bhakti Vedanta degree. Get the Bhakti Vedanta degree. Bhakti Sarvabhavan. Bhakti Sarvabhavan. And that, that's why, this way, learn all the philosophy. Learn all the philosophy. After that, uh, then, then uh, Prabhupada was saying that maybe Jesus on his sats and arrows. After that, Sri Prabhupada said that we could read Jiva goes on his sats and arrows. And the laws were very, very powerful. Because those are very powerful. So I think that first, the body should study the words of Sri Prabhupada. So I think first, devotees should study the words of Srila Prabhupada. Then, not say they can, as I can say that, Actually, after finishing that, all the books that Prabhupada recommended. Read other books that Prabhupada has recommended. Prabhu, and then we come back to you. When the spiritual master is alive, the disciples are not in any sense of disciples. And the spiritual master is alive, when a spiritual master is alive, his disciples should not accept disciples. So, how can we understand when we complete Bhakti Vedanta? How can we understand? 
how can we take that uh, one to complete bhakti vedanta he can accept in his own how how we can how we can initiate that how a, who the disciple of a guru okay how the disciple of a guru can initiate even after taking bhakti vedanta degree how can he initiate in the presence of his guru the right the guru gives instruction to accept disciples accept disciples but one has to follow instruction of the guru and he doesn't one has to follow the instruction of the guru in the mola actions on the sanghi of Rasikananda. Ramona, the deity of Rasikananda. His guru is Shamananda. And his guru is Shamananda. So, he was a guru in the presence of his guru. So he was a guru in the presence of his guru. Because he had a instruction from Shamananda on the Because he got the instruction from Shaman and the Pandit, accept disciples. Accept disciples. <coughs> I have a uh, Raja, so Chaitanya Chandra Charan. I have in Russia Chaitanya Chandra Charan Prabhu. And, um, I asked him to be a guru. I asked him to be a guru. He has thousands of disciples. He has thousands of disciples. And now uh, he is. Preaching in Russian, and he's preaching in Russian. And similarly, I'm asking other disciples are qualified. Similarly, I'm asking other disciples who are qualified. And the last one is asked by the guru. And last one is asked by the guru. It's true that I should do accept disciples. It's true that one should not accept disciples. But if the guru asks, but if the guru asks. He orders that that, that has to be carried out by the disciple. If he orders, then that has to be carried on by the disciple. It's Vivartavada, Nirvisheshavada, and Mayavada. Is Vivartavada, Nirvisheshavada, and Mayavada are they the same? Mayavada is a general. Mayavada, it's like general. चैतन्यो महाराष्ट्रीय Maharashtra, like like in this past time also also we see that Maharashtra and Ripa is present, and Mahaprabhu also has past times in Vrindavan and in South India, and Shri Shri Nityananda Prabhu he also actually travelled more holy places. So are those places not considered as gold mandal? Like if we want to actually go places where Shri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu performed past times, and we know Prabhu Saraswati Thakur he also. Established Padu Pitha in those places. So, in simple, he is saying that uh, generally Gaur Mandal Bhumi is known only within West Bengal or some part of Odisha and, and uh, Bangladesh. But we also know that there are also other associate, close associates of Mahaprabhu. They have taken birth in other part of India, like South India and other places. So how do we consider this? Because the demarcation of uh, Gaura Mandal is only in this part of India, not in South India. So how do we consider those 
Mahaprabhu's pastime also has taken place in South India. So, are they also considered as part of Gauramandal? So, yeah. Om Chaitanya was very much. So, Lord Chaitanya ran many times. He had all the interact with Mahadevs. He had all the South India. In Bangladesh, all over South India. Maharashtra, in Maharashtra, Gujarat, Gujarat. So, he also went to Uttar Pradesh, so, and now, he also went to Uttar Pradesh, Vrindavan. So, Vrindavan is Praja. Vrindavan is Praja. Chalala Pali is Sri Chakra. Chakana Puri is Sri Chakra. Lord Mala Bodhi is 168 kilometers from Mayapur. Lord Mala Bodhi is 168 kilometers from Mayapur. So, that means Arthur Ramona and South means up to Vimuna, to, to the south, to the south, east, you know, all the way down, all the way to the southeast of Pundarik Dam. North east is up is to the birthplace of Advaita Goswami. North west is Yam Kamaynak Salatya Road. North west is beyond Kamaynak Shala and to the Hills. Hills. The hills. That particular area is known as Gaurangalbhumi. That particular area is known as Gaurangalbhumi. Gaurangalbhumi is known as Shrikshetra. Uh, Orissa is known as Shrikshetra. Jain and then the Pindavan is Known as Brajadam. And now it's known as Brajadam. So I will revoke the day of associates of Lord Chaitanya. So all parts. Maybe associates of Lord Chaitanya from some other place. Ah. Yeah. Sriram. Only place around Kaveri River and Sriram. That may not be Lord Mandal Bhumi. That may not be Lord Mandal Bhumi. That is also a holy place. I thought that just the holy India has got lots of holy rivers, holy places. India has got a lot of holy places, holy rivers. But it's not necessarily Lord Mandal Bhumi. It's not necessarily Lord Mandal Bhumi. Sorry, In the first part, it was written that Vivartavada means uh, accepting untruth as true. Is there a reason that Mayavada philosophy is given more emphasis as Vivartavada? And the acceptance of body as a self. Krishna, body is not different from Krishna. Krishna and his body is non different from His body is non different from Krishna. Our body is different than the, the self. Our body is different than the self. Krishna is not like that. Krishna is not like that. He is transcendental. He is transcendental. 
the body and the self same. Body and the self same. So the uh, my body is fed. I try to have Krishna. The body of the the Maya body they maintain that uh, Krishna is body and Krishna is different. That's offensive. That is offensive. Krishna doesn't change. Krishna doesn't change. We can create, maintain and destroy. We can create, maintain and destroy. He remains the same. Maharaj, Sri Prabhupada said that in order to preach, one must have life. Can you explain some of the meaning behind what Sri Prabhupada said? Thank you. Mm-hmm. But Maharaj, Sananda Saraswati Thakur, Krishnanda Saraswati Thakur, Sananda Saraswati Thakur, Sananda Sahaja Prachar. That is someone who has not got a life. That if someone has got a spiritual life, he can reach. We are staying the way. Talking about the world's own. The state that we make. Accepting the impersonal event. Actually kills our spiritual life. Actually kills our spiritual life. And now, therefore, we are not able to preach. Therefore, we are not able to preach. So we understand the ashram, substance, all it as it is. And if we understand the actual substance of Bhagavad Gita as it is, then we can easily preach. That's why we want people to study Bhagavad Gita as it is. That's why we want people to study the Bhagavad Gita as it is. Study the Srimad Bhagavatam. Study the Srimad Bhagavatam. Study the Bhagavad Gita as it is. Study the Chaitanya Charitamrita. So, how Lord Chaitanya gets these Mayavari sannyasis? How Lord Chaitanya gets these Mayavari sannyasis? Very important. It's very important. For us to understand. We read by the Prabhupada that we should have told about that. Explains the philosophy to the widest and the impersonals. He explains the philosophy to the widest, the way that he explains the philosophy to the widest and impersonals. So, similarly, we should understand. Similarly, we should understand. Our Lord's teachings. Our Lord's teachings. And be able to understand the uh, Air in the impersonal ideal. Be able to understand the air in the impersonal ideal. One last question. Srimad Bhagavatam, 11th Canto, Chapter 5, 38 and 40. It is explained that the devotees appear in the various places in the age of Kali that uh, those people, that means the devotees, will be very pure hearted who drinks the uh, waters of river Kaveri, Payaswini, Tamraparani and Mahanadi. So most of the things it says that the Dravidatesh, the devotees from the Dravidatesh are very pure hearted. So I just want to understand that if I see the mantra, Gange Chaimala Chaiva Godavari Saraswati Dhamada Sindhu Thaveri, the rest means Nikampur, that's what we chant. But when we see this South Indian, it says Dravidatesha Thaveri Payasvani Tamraparani 
and uh, Mahanidhi. So I just want to understand what is the significance of these devotees. So how are they uh, when Rose is from Sriva Bhavata? You have already read the verse from Sriva Bhavata. Are you saying you don't understand? You say you don't understand this? I, I do understand, but I just want to understand that. Holy rivers. These are holy rivers. And naturally, if you go born by a holy river. Actually, people who are born by the holy river. Oh, they get special benefit. They get special benefit. So, uh, we went there on our uh, safari. We went there on our safari. And Tama uh, Pani. Tamara Parami. The water is really not covered. Water that got copper in it. And uh, so his, his life is not very sacred. So these places are very sacred. So in the uh, we see that in South India. We see that in South India. Uh, so now sees uh, Brahmas still maintain certain. Yasis, Brahmanas, they still maintain certain uh, certain rituals. Certain rituals. And uh, no, actually go down in the village on Kobo. I mean the way. Next to the Godavari river in Rajmandri, there was a couple who were claiming that they are Kalki Avatar. Kalki. Uh, okay. At the end of Kaliyuga. Kalki coming at the end of Kaliyuga. Uh, it's only about 5,000 years in Kaliyuga. Only about 5,000 years in uh, Kaliyuga. So the body might ask him until early. Some, <laughs> some devotees might have asked him, are you a little early? <laughs> well, I may not be Kalki Avatar, but I am an Avatar. I am God. I am God. He said that I may not be Kalki Avatar, but I am Avatar. I am God. I am God. <laughs> In, in Boston, 1969, when he arrived. Shilam Prabhupada, when he was in Boston, 1969, when he arrived. He gave him many garlands. He gave him many garlands. And then he said that they worship the spiritual master. And he said that they worship the spiritual master. Like God. Like God. But he doesn't think he is God. He doesn't think that he is God. He thinks he is God. If he thinks he is God, he is not G O D. He is not G O D. He is D O G. He is D O G. God. God. Right there, and he was a devotee. Now, Prabhupada, he is very clear that he is a devotee. When I am, when I struck, was in the Bhaktivedanta hospital. When I had my stroke, I was in Bhaktivedanta hospital. I had the, uh, I had a crew with us, the, uh, who does devotee care? Have a crew who does the devotee care. And uh, so one person, I do give daily report what happened. One person used to give me daily report of what happens. On Saturday, I saw one man, he had many magazines. He said that there was one man, he had many magazines. Starts on my Spiritual magazine. Kamakumari. 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 So many different magazines. So many different religious organizations. 
And the devotee asked him, Are you interested in spiritual things? See, I am the Sadhva. See, I am interested, but every organization says, The founder is God. The founder is God. I am confused. I am confused. <laughs> Who is really God? Who is really God? Our founder says, He is not God. Our founder says, He is not God. He is the Lord of God. He is the devotee of God. Wow! And they gave him Bhagavad Gita as it is. He said, I wonder why I never knew that the founder that said he is a devotee. He never knew that there is a founder who said that he is a devotee. India. They have good people, they have people who are maybe are your good people and you have people who are <laughs> speculators. <laughs> and uh, so as I went, all God was had a all of Gita world. I went to part at this Bhagavad Gita World Assembly. We know the law that he was by Bhagavad Gita because of the Shrink House. There was a person who had Mauna Prata because they, they were killing cows. He had his followers who chanted a chapter of Bhagavad Gita. He had uh, his followers to chant chapters of Bhagavad Gita. And uh, Prabhupada had his disciples chant Hare Krishna. Prabhupada had his disciples to chant Hare Krishna. Then one Mayavadi Sanyasi. Then one Mayavadi Sanyasi. He wanted to compete. He wanted to compete. So he started to chant. Prabhupada was so angry and he told the devotees to chant and the devotees started chanting. So then uh, everybody became very happy. Everybody became very happy. So that on my body is a gossip. He was speculating so much. This Mayavadi Sanyasi, he was speculating some mantra. Yeah, you know, India, very good people. Some and speculators. In India, you have many good people and some Mayavadis and speculators. So, that's why we want all people to read or he does learn some. That's why we want people to read Bhagavad Gita as it is and so on. Do you like our ad free videos? Be sure to subscribe to our channel. We publish new videos every day, and don't forget to like and share our channel.